The Bronx Borough President, Ruben Diaz Jr., along with a number of local officials, announced $2 million in funding allocations to relocate the Van Cortlandt Branch Library to a new, larger home. Many people are excited, and here to give us a little bit more about that is Councilmember Andrew Cohen from the 11th District. And uh, Councilman Cohen, thank you so much for being with us. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Exciting, of course. Um, this library, we know, will be double in size. Um, what can Bronxites expect? Well, the current branch really goes back almost 50 years. It is very small. It is very dated. Uh, and it doesn't offer all the, the, the space to have the kind of programming we would like. So this is really great news. It's a partnership uh, between the borough president, as you said, uh, State Assembly Mendinowitz, State Senator Klein, and myself pulling together the resources to outfit this new library. Uh, one of the exciting things about the library is the current facility is rented, mm -hmm. uh, and the new facility will be owned by the New York Public Library, so it'll be ours in perpetuity, uh, and that's really a significant improvement. So we're really excited. How long has this been in the works? About 18 months. It took, uh, you know, to get the money together to for libraries to negotiate the acquisition of the space. Um, so I was there maybe about a year and a half ago, kind of looking it over and seeing if we thought that this would uh, make sense. And um, again, I'm really excited. Talk to us a little bit about community involvement and buy-in. Obviously, you know, a lot of conversation was had with the community. Uh, what was the response like when you, uh, you know, just going through the process? Well, from early, from you know, actually when I was a candidate before I was in office. Uh, people complained about the inadequacy of the current library. Again, it is very small. I think in the library system internally, they ranked it as like their fourth worst library in the entire system. Uh, so that was really a significant problem that the community wanted addressed. Uh, and this is a uh, uh, really a win-win because the current that we're, we're going to move to was an empty facility not being used. Uh, and that really takes advantage of this space, and I think it's going to be great. So for Bronxites who don't know, please walk us through exactly what we can expect in this new facility. <clears throat> well, as you said, the main point is we're going to have a library that's more than twice the size. Uh, but we're also going to have programming space for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, when children want to read, public reading. I go to libraries sometimes, and I get the opportunity to read to the kids. Uh, you'll be able to use the stacks, though, and have these other programming and, and not uh, disturb each other. So that's really, uh, I think, going to be the big advantage. So we can have additional programming, all new technology, state-of-the-art library. And the total budget, including the acquisition costs, is estimated about $6.5 million? Yes, it's a big project. And it's a real partnership. And the libraries is kicking in their own money for the acquisition. Uh, and as you said, the borough president, uh, Assemblyman Dinowitz, Senator Klein, and myself, uh, have pooled together the resources to outfit the library. And what do you think this means actually for the, for the borough and, 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 and particularly for residents in the neighborhood? Well, I'm particularly pleased that, you know, that we're all the elected officials rowing together to really make the community better. And this is just gonna, you know, the kind of facility, a state-of-the-art modern library. It's good for the kids. It's good for, you know, there's a school right across the street. Uh, it's just really the kind of partnership that makes the community better. So it's a win-win. And uh, we know that uh, there's one room that's going to make the adult and uh, children's programming uh, a little bit better. And uh, we understand that there's one room and that and pretty much attendance at the library has gone up. Um, and so it's, having more room, having more space, do we anticipate even, uh, we say attendance has been up about 49% in recent years. Do we see that even going up higher? Then the neighborhood is becoming younger. Kids are using the library more having dedicated facilities where young people can do, you know, because they use the different library differently than adults and older people. So having dedicated space for that, I think, is really going to make a quality of life improvement for the people who are currently using it and the, the people who are continuing to discover this library. Mm -hmm. Give us a little bit more of a timeline. Uh, things are happening. I, the library, I believe, has acquired the space, uh, and they're going to be doing the outfitting uh, right away, and I'm hoping that within the next year and a half, well, this branch will be open. Mm. Now, this branch has been open since 1968. The original location has been since 1968, and so uh, a major change coming to uh, the neighborhood. Council member uh, Andrew Cohen, as well as other people in the borough, uh, working to bring this uh, one room in approximately 2,715 square feet. That's what it was before. Uh, the new facility will be about close to 6,000 square yes. feet. So uh, if you're out there and you want to go to the library as soon as it's up there, please be sure to go out there and check it out because it will be double the size and, of course, uh, I think double the resources. State of the art. State of the art. Council Member Cohen, thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. It's my pleasure to be here.